So, we now know that they're nerfing, uh, which I guess shouldn't be a surprise, the meta builds, pretty much. So, we've seen that uh, Borealis Techno Firepower build, that for sure is getting a huge nerf. And uh, they've already have, so you, you bleed build devs out there, I warned you, they have you in their site too. I don't know if you're getting a nerf yet, but point is, the meta damage builds everybody knows for all the classes as predicted in the devs line of sight so just be prepared if that's your only build you're gonna have to start completely over so i'm letting you know now so you can start already changing it if you use one of those meta builds the somewhat good news i mean that's the bad news also the other bad news is it's uh going to affect but i think pretty much everything's getting nerfed so i'm sure there's going to be changes that affect my builds too that I'll have to find workarounds to. But, I will say, um, so my good news is if you like my builds a lot, I doubt most of them are getting buffed. And I'm on my Marshall dev now, because they actually confirmed they're going to buff the Marshall <laughs> build dev. And I always just find that hilarious. They don't understand this game at all, because it's like, honestly, this Marshall build I'm on is just OP already. It doesn't need a buff if you know what you're doing, so... But they're going to buff them, and probably nerf Seismic Commander, I bet, so. Now, just to, uh, I guess, briefly go into this build, I did change, um, if you saw the build from the old ones, I got rid of Wide Horizons, since I realized, you know, it's just a 25% increase to the range of Endless Mass, which is not huge, actually. If it was 50 or more, I might second-guess it, but... 25, and also especially because as much as I like Endless Mass, it's ironically on my Marshall build the, the, the least used and most useless of my three skills. <laughs> it's very good, though, for uh, clearing out adds. But, I mean, Elite's always resisted. It's really annoying. And what's even more annoying is it'll, it'll still force you to go through the dumb animation, but then it won't do anything. It won't even damage them. Like, that's really annoying, so... I just did it because it's like, it's still a decent bonus. It gives me a reason to use Endless Mass. But yeah, most of it is um, Gravity Leap and Boulder Dash. It's somewhat good, so if they ever nerf Marshall build, this dude might still remain. I might just simply replace Wide Horizons with, I don't know, Golem, Tremor, something to just make him even tankier. While he just mainly uses Gravity Leap debuffing, and then Boulder Dash for just more healing and damage. But, uh, yeah, this dude's, I would say, very, very tanky. His health gets down more than I would like, but it's kind of uh, inevitable because most of his healing is coming from his skill activations. So inevitably, his health will always drop some all the time while I'm taking a ton of damage. But then I'll just go up instantly again the moment I use Boulder Dash or Gravity Leap because both of them pretty much heal me back to full and make me invincible during it. Still, I stuck Weapon Leech on my gun. When um, this build, though, might get a huge buff, not just if they're going to buff Marshall, but with the new patch tree for the um, Devastator, there's uh, a new mod that's going to basically reduce the cooldown of kinetic skills a ton if you have a lot of armor piercing. So my plan right now on this dude is to take off my Weapon Leech stat on my gun to then go Armor Piercing Skill Leech on it. Still have similar mods because I'm probably going to get the Weapon Leech buff in the tree to make up the difference of losing the Weapon Leech and still get some decent healing off my gun anyway. And then I'll just have an even lower cooldown, a much lower cooldown on like Gravity Leap would essentially get like 5 seconds, which is just insane from both my damage and my tanking at that point. So I'm like, yep, that's pretty amazing. However, I think people who played the beta with me told me that it's not going to be quite that easy, that I think cooldown itself is going to be capped now. So, and it might even encourage me to, like, take off cooldown on some of my gear in favor of, like, I don't know, more skill leech or more weapon damage, because I'm already at the cap. 
So we're going to see how that works. If that's the case, then I feel like this build will still be great for what it does, I think. But instead, I'll probably not get those skill nerds, but instead just keep weapon leech on my gun to get an insanely high weapon leech healing off them. And then just make them even tankier. Probably get the elitism skill then, which buffs my damage to elites a bunch for the devastator. So I might do that. That'll stack nicely with my bonus elite damage in the top in the top skill tree on this build. Um uh, what else can I say right now? I'm trying to think. You know, I'm doing these videos like just totally on the fly. So these are just this is literally just a stream of consciousness that you're hearing from me right now as I think about this stuff. I will say my next video is going to show my statue quote snail statue build dev and that is because I learned statue is uh, completely broken. <laughs> Not in a good way. I mean, um, I knew already that if you're in the golem mode during statue and you get staggered at all, it takes away the buff now that statue gives you. I didn't care though because when I'm in golem mode, I don't need the buff. I use the statue buff for when I'm not in golem mode, when I have Tremor active instead. Tremor's still a good way to stay alive, but it's of course not nearly as good as golem, especially if you don't have ads near you. It kind of relies on you having lots of ads doing damage to you, but then you don't take that damage because you're just killing it all off. Um, apparently it uh, takes, off, takes the buff off if you get staggered in Tremor too, which essentially for the Devastators and Chicago, which are always in close range, that essentially means the statue bonus is never on you. <laughs> it's really stupid. I'm like, what? So I'm like, well, this is stupid. I still kind of like it in a sense because it taught me how effective alternating between Golem and Tremor is. Like, I still like maximizing my Golem and my Grab Leap on him for the defense and the offense. Because then what it means is Tremor's a nice skill. It's a nice dev skill that doesn't require a lot of mods to make still effective for what it does. You really only need one mod on it, and that's the get two more explosions, so essentially increase its duration a bunch that way, and then just, that's it. Because it just heals you a ton off crowds near you. So it's it's honestly, an, it, it, it pretty much makes the Devastator invincible if you have a crowd around you, which is usually when you're taking a lot of damage that you would need it anyway. So honestly, it makes you invincible towards most situations. But still, if you're in a boss fight and you're taking like a lightning storm and there's no ads near you, which does happen, that's when it doesn't really help much. But that's why I wanted to use the statue bonus so that my weapon leech would be off the charts. And I always suspected it on that dude, on my statue build you've seen. Because I feel like he should be healing way more than he does with his gun. Because it's like he's got 36% weapon leech at that point. He has sandstorm and death chains, with, which both heal you based off that stat. And he should be getting a double weapon damage increase, That should, so his gun damage itself should still be decent enough at that point to heal him quite a bit. Because you don't need your gun damage to be sky high to still heal a ton if you just have a high health bar and a high weapon leech stat. Because if you think about it, I have like 50,000 health. If I do like just 10,000 damage with my gun and I have like 40% weapon leech and I'm using an automatic gun, that literally is like, you know, four or five thousand-ish health every single shot that you should be healing at that point. And if you're using an LMG or a double gun even better, then yeah, that is a ton of healing you should get. But I knew something was wrong. So you'll see, I'll explain it more in the next video when I go through the statue build. I'm still keeping him, but I'm not using statue. If they ever do fix the statue buff, then he will be insanely good, I will say. Because I've always suspected he should be like a super tank. He already is a super tank, but I just mean like a super duper tank. 